Hey guys, it's Phil, and this is a review for Best Tech's 400 watt power inverter. With this unit, model number MRI4011IU, you'll get the power inverter, an instruction and safety sheet, two battery clip cables, and a cigarette lighter adapter. This inverter converts 12 volt DC power like a car battery to 120 volt AC power, providing on-the-go household power in your vehicle or from energy stored in batteries like those charged with a solar panel. It is rated for 400 watts with a maximum of 500 watts. The body is made of a hard shell plastic and looks pretty cool with its octagonal shape and contrasting black and red colors. It's actually pretty light at 1 pound and 2 ounces. In the bottom left corner is where you attach your clips or cigarette lighter plug for DC power in. The left face is the cooling fan and grounding point. To prevent overheating, make sure the fan isn't blocked during operation. The top left is where the fuses are located. If one blows, you can replace them, but you'll need a small screwdriver to remove the caps. The top right corner has the power on and off switch with two USB ports. The top port outputs a variable 0 to 2.4 amps depending on the device plugged into it, and the bottom one outputs a constant 1 amp. On the right face there are two 3 prong plug sockets. And on the bottom right corner there's the power fault indicator LED and two more USB ports, both outputting a constant 2.4 amps. You can use all available power ports to power or charge your devices simultaneously. This product carries high voltage and current, so safety is always a priority. Make sure you understand how to use this product and set this product up and read all the directions first. I'm going to demo this unit with a 12 volt, 35 amp hour solar battery that I charged using a solar panel. Using the clip cables, attach the connectors to the inverter input ports. Match the positive red cable to the red connector and the negative black cable to the black connector. Make sure the connectors are tight and the cables are not touching as this could cause a short or smoke. Connect the clamps to your battery one at a time, red first, then black. The first time you connect this inverter to a battery, you'll probably get a spark, so just be aware of that. It's important that you don't touch the exposed metal pieces of the clip or the connectors while it's hooked up to the battery to avoid the risk of electrocution. Lastly, plug in your devices and switch the power on. When you're done, simply switch the inverter off then disconnect the clips from the battery first before disconnecting the cables from the inverter. If you're using the cigarette lighter adapter instead of the clips, simply insert the plug into your cigarette lighter. When attaching the cigarette lighter cables, the protective rubber coating is a little bit too close to the connector, so when you screw on the nuts you'll probably tear them up a bit, but this is necessary to ensure the nuts are on tightly. Some cars do not power their cigarette lighters when the car is off, so you may need to turn your car on to get the power flowing. Just be sure you don't drain the battery to your car because then you'll be stuck. You should also note that if your appliances use more than 150 watts, you should use the battery clamps instead of the cigarette lighter. This product does exactly what it should. I get power to all my devices using the various outlets and USB ports. You'll notice that the fan runs constantly while it's on, but it isn't super loud. This unit is great for road trips, camping, or to keep in the car for emergencies when you have access to a charged battery. When using this in the car, you'll have overheating, overload, and short circuit protection in both directions for your devices and your car battery. It's compact, lightweight, and has a decent wattage capacity, and there are plenty of powering options for your charging needs. I hope you enjoyed this review. Let me know if you have any questions in the comments below, and join me next time.